One of my favourite tips for improving your photography is to simplify your compositions. But how far can you take it? This week I'm going to try and emulate the style of one of my favourite photographers to see if adopting a more minimalistic approach can help me take significantly better photographs. Ask me who my favourite photographer is, and the answer is pretty straightforward. It's a British photographer called Michael Kenner, and if you're not familiar with his work, he has a very, very distinct style. He shoots solely in black and white, and his images tend to have a very, very strong subject, a very strong focal point. And he works to eliminate the majority of distractions from the frame, so he has a kind of very minimalistic approach to photography. Now, my world has been around. Today is Easter Sunday and we've come away for Easter. We're staying with my mum in Boscastle in Cornwall. And this morning I've come up onto the cliffs above Boscastle Harbour and I'm going to photograph Michard Rock, which I think will make a great subject for a minimalistic photo. I've actually photographed this scene on a number of occasions and I've actually got this shot of Michard Rock on my office wall at home. Today I'm going to start with a similar composition and then try to develop it so that I end up with a much more minimalistic shot and I'm going to take you through each stage of the process. That's my standard composition for Michard. I've got my camera set up relatively low. I'm using some of these grasses in this rock in the foreground as a bit of foreground interest. I've got the horizon on the upper third and the rock itself on the right hand third. Um, I've got a two stop hard edge grad to pull down the sky and a circular polarizer on there and I'm just going to go ahead and take the shot. That's our starting point. And the first thing we want to do is to eliminate some of this foreground, which can be quite distracting. And the simplest way to do that is simply to raise the height of the camera. So that's helped to create a much simpler composition. I've got the uh, horizon on the upper third and I've got the rock on the intersection on the bottom right hand third and in order to get that composition I've had to zoom into about 40mm and that's created a much simpler composition but I still think we can take it a bit further. So another feature of Michael Kenner's work is that he uses a lot of long exposures and I want to do exactly the same thing. So I want to use a long exposure to smooth out some of the textures in the water and in the sky so it's time to reach for the big stopper.
So with the big stopper on, that's increased my exposure time to about 60 seconds. But I want to double that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my aperture from f8 to f11. And that should give me an exposure time of about two minutes. I think we're starting to get somewhere now, but I think we can go even further. Now, one of the other defining features, I think, of a minimalistic uh, landscape photograph is the use of negative space. And that's a kind of space around the subject. And I think we can uh, do a bit more here. So at the moment, I'm shooting at 40 mil. But I reckon if I pull right back to 24 mil, that will create a lot more space around my subject. As far as the composition is concerned, I think that's it. That's exactly the composition I was looking for. But I want to try a couple of other things. At the moment, I've got a two-stop hard edge grad on there. And I want to switch that out for this. This is a Lee Filters Mist Grad. And what I'm hoping it will do is remove all of the definition from the sky and from the horizon. Now, I've never used this filter before, but I have seen a couple of other videos where other photographers have tried it. The first one was Thomas Heaton, and I think it's fair to say that Thomas struggled with it a bit. But the second one was Jonathan Critchley. And he's another photographer like Michael Kenner who's got a bit more of a minimalistic style, and he seemed to get on much better. So let me know what you think of this filter and the effect that it's had on the photo. It's very difficult for me to tell whether I like that shot just by looking at the back of the camera. One thing I did have to do was to reduce my exposure time down from two minutes to a minute after I took that grad off. Now there is one other thing I want to try. Remember at the beginning I said that Michael Kenner shot predominantly in black and white. Well obviously everything that I've done so far has been in colour. So I want to try a number of different finishes using Silver FX Pro and Analog FX Pro from the Nick collection. So let me know which of these three finishes you like the best. The world is spinning round, 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 and I want you now, and I want you now. My world is spinning round, 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 oh I want you now, now, now. The world is spinning round, 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 and I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now. So that's almost it from me for this week. I really enjoyed trying to emulate the style of one of my photographic heroes. What do you think of minimalistic landscape photography? Has this video inspired you to have a go? Why not leave me a comment below? Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time.